What you doing, my hounds? I am taping off in preparation for a very adventurous thing. Well, I think it's very adventurous. I'm going to be antiquing our closet doors in this whole bedroom area and the drawer faces and everything. That will be cool. Which is something I've never done before, like so many other projects on this build. But like everything else, I looked it up on YouTube. And usually the two main ways of antiquing are with stain and with um, a really heavy dark furniture wax. I got both! I got both! <laughs> But for a um, specific reason, and you'll see that as we go along, why I'm going to use stain on the faces of these, and then why I got the heavy wax for the edges in here, because there's some flaws I need to conceal. So that's the project du jour. It's taking you forever. I know, I'm a slow taper. I thought you'd be done by now. Taper. That was that animal they killed on Apocalypto. Oh, that's Remember? Right. Tapper, yeah. It's a taper. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, what is the secret to taping into the corners? Like using scissors to cut the tape? Because tearing just makes a mess of everything. Oh, yeah. Just cut, you go, yeah, I don't know. Just do it. Okay, you guys, I know the secret now is a razor knife. I just didn't know this before. Perfect! Now I can do it fast. Now for the fun part. Oh, I already got some on the ceiling. You're horrible. <laughs> I don't know why you hate this bus so much. <laughs> I'm just messy. I can't help it. I need to be doing it darker. Long strokes. Oh, it doesn't stay in long strokes anyway. It disappears into the little dots in the paint. Uh, it's it's in the wiping off process that you get the long strokes in. I'm gonna get some stain down in that knot hole. I don't know how long I should let this dry for before I start rubbing it off. I think I need to leave it a little bit longer or else it's, I'm just going to wipe it all off. You know yeah. I mean? Whoa. I just got a big streak on the drawer, so I'm doing the drawers now. <laughs> got to do the top of it. Starting to get tacky. This is the fun part where it gets streaky and gets that antique look. Oh yeah, I see what you're doing there. Oh, it sure does. Right? It looks like like painted now. Yeah, like, like hand brush painted. Yeah. Streets. On wood and it looks real antique like it's been so old that yeah. it has Boy, that looks like uh, freaking cool. I man. kind of wiped a little too much you did off that. right That's there. awesome. Try to darken it up again. So I just have to kind of guess at, I mean, you know, just wing it as far as like how much do I keep going? When do I stop? Yeah, I see what you're doing though. Pretty neat little thing you did there. I just learned it online watching YouTube. And then I tried it first. I did not just try this for the first time right now. I tried it first on one of our um, 
on a mistake cupboard yeah we made a cupboard that the wood had been so bowed that it just warped the whole cupboard and it was unusable so i practiced and tried it on that old cupboard that we hadn't thrown out yet and i liked it the great thing about it is if you mess up if you wipe too much off you can still come back over and do it again all right do this one then how does that look to you does that look pretty freaking amazing really cool looking But the camera's probably just not picking up how Probably cool not, yeah. In real life, it's pretty. A it pretty looks cool like effect. it's old. It looks like, like this is like a really old cabinet that's just been sitting out, you know, in a, in a place with a lot of like moisture and, you it's know, all like weathered. It, kind of weathered. It's really neat. What a neat thing you discovered here. I just wanted to do this in the bedroom because. First of all, this is the same paint we used in the kitchen. And while I like this color a lot in the kitchen, I felt like it was a little bit vivid for in the bedroom. And I felt like this would tone down that color a little bit. Yeah. It just softens the look of this color, huh? I mean, it's still the same color, but it's softer. Yeah. And I think it's a, I think it's a little bit nicer for the bedroom, yeah. I guess. Right here, you can really tell, like the before oh, yeah. and after. Oh yeah, like it's it's aged. It looks aged, like like it's been in a very moist environment, you know, like in Louisiana or something. Or or like um, like in a kitchen. Like I don't know if you've ever seen antique mm -hmm. furniture in an antique shop that's been in a kitchen. There's years of like grime, yeah. but it's just caked down into the grooves. Yep, exactly. So that's you just how see that looks. little bit of darkening. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, no, you did a heck of a job. It really, okay. it really works. It works really, really well. I'm super glad you like it. I would be bummed if I'm, you were like, I was, oh. I'm not gonna lie. I was very apprehensive were about you skeptical? this. skeptical? I was like, man, that was a lot of work to do these things. I'm sure you want to just wing this, but you just, you nailed it. It does seem very, um, I don't know, counter intelligent <laughs> to do this like i'm just messing up our paint job yeah. i love the look though when it's done anybody else getting high <laughs> yeah. wanna stain. get high i got oh, my high towel i just dipped towelie in the stain you want to get high no you want to get high no we don't want to get high it looks so neat <laughs> The only thing that I feel like is a little bit difficult is like I have a question in my mind. Am I getting the same amount of coverage and wiping on each? Right. You know, is one darker than another? Is one lighter than another? I don't know. It added such a dimension to this room that I just couldn't have imagined. I, I like it better than I did before. I'm just glad you trusted me enough to do it. <laughs> Because there's something about it. It sounds a little hairbrained, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Crap, it's starting to like dry. Maybe I did a little too much that time. <laughs> Okay, so it's a new day and we're going to be using a new product in my antiquing process. But I wanted to show you guys why I'm using another product instead of just using the stain that I already have that I've already been using. And that's if you look close up, um, there's a really bad spot down here where when we were peeling the tape off, it peeled part of the paint off and it left some of the white primer exposed. And then over here there's several places where there's white primer exposed kind of in the crack to the back of this little edge inside the cupboard so i'm going to be using a heavy furniture wax in those areas that will actually 
provide more coverage than a stain would provide. And I'm hoping it will either completely cover some of the areas or at least camouflage it enough and darken it to make it, I don't know, work with my whole antique look that I'm going for. So I started looking online for different wax products and they all came in like little tiny containers for around like $30. But I kept looking and then I finally found one from Minwax that was a lot less. It was only $9. So judging by the picture, it looked like it was going to come in one of these little cans like this for only $9. That would make sense. So then I ordered it. And it came in this ginormous can. So I have so much furniture wax right now, you guys. But I will tell you this, in hindsight, I wish I would have waited for this to come in the mail because I like this one way more. The color of it is a little bit more of like a golden brown. It has a really cool antique look. And also, it was a lot easier to work with than the stain. It was so forgiving. You would rub some on and if it was too heavy, you could just keep rubbing and keep rubbing. Or if you rubbed it away from a spot too much, you could like push it back over into that. It was so easy to work with, you guys. I wish I had used this on, on everything. And it still dries hard. I think that was one of the things I was worried about because it was called a wax. I thought it was gonna stay waxy, but it doesn't. It dries in it and it hardens completely. So let's get on with the antiquing. So here's what this wax looks like when you start scraping it up. It is literally just wax, but it is really cool when you start working with it. Oops, I had it where I wanted it and then I scraped it out. Okay. I have a feeling I'm going to make a mess with this. Did you see that already falling on the floor? Yeah. The easiest to do to work with is your finger. rub it in. <laughs> Easy peasy. Okay, so that's what I have to do. Hopefully I'll get like in a rhythm of this. Yeah, it's way easier to just use my finger. This probably has some horrible chemicals in it that I shouldn't be touching, but whoops. As long as it doesn't have COVID on it, it doesn't matter. That's right. I like how you can let it like just kind of fill up and gum up in the cracks. Yeah. Especially the cracks that have white primer showing through. Totally. The, the, I don't, God, I, wish, I hope this shows up on video because the antiquing process that she did, it just is so neat looking. It really antiqued it like it was just a, in an old house. I love it. Yeah, I'm so glad you like it. <laughs> well, when when the when the bedroom was finally revealed, you know, in the next few videos after some of the other things that are going to be added. Uh, to the bedroom here like people will get yeah. it and they'll just it's gonna like they'll be like oh wow what a great you know okay well don't be afraid to put that camera down and dig your finger on in here and help Ew. <laughs> all right using my finger is way easier looks like you're playing with boogers honestly oh hell yeah it's not making it too smooth and even though is it well, you kind of have control over it with the brush. You just dab it in there and make it all messy. Or you can just come back and brush right straight through it. tops of the drawers and the inside edges 
with this wax because it's so easy to work with and right. so forgiving that I might as well, you know, just finish the look. This worked pretty good because you could do a little bit of brushing and a little bit of yeah. stippling. Right. Stifling, stippling, stifling. I would say stippling. Right say that. Are you ready? I think so. All right, you gotta tell me where you want these things. Um, well, that's a decision you're welcome to help me make. It just seems like, like where your elbow bends. Yeah, whatever. Just yeah. like maybe measure it so you put them Yeah, the I'll put them the same, of course, but I just each. like. Okay. Let's see what this measurement's gonna be. The ceiling. So twenty-seven and three quarters. So one and three sixteenths is pretty centered on. Make sure nothing behind it there isn't. You guys, we've been working on other projects for days and days. Mostly, I think, the prep work on sanding the exterior of the bus to get ready for painting. But um, So we're finally coming around to finishing up our little bedroom remodel, reveal, whatever you would want to call it, <laughs> with our antiqued cupboards. Mm -hmm. Whose side is this? What? Yours. My side? Yeah. Cool. I'd like to just put this on. Bueno. You jealous I have handles and you don't? Should be. <laughs> it's cute. You got any more of those? Yeah, they're all in the pantry. It's a lot easier to open these things now. That's for sure. There, we're all done. Almost. What? Dang it. You have to put them on here too? Uh, ha the other handles are going down. The there. regular handles? Yeah, okay. like the kitchen. That's right. and my fishnets and stuff in here and just be like, yeah. Oh, are you cross-dressing now? Well, it's in. Good to know. <laughs> it's in. It's definitely in. I just noticed we never took the tape off this one. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to go back in and do more of the wax, though, and make it a little bit darker on these. I could do latches on this one and put a latch right here so it chunks right there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, totally up to you. So that's 16 and a half would be the center point. Actually, you don't have to do a center point on these. Just make... What? Just do like six inches in and six inches in. I mean, maybe you have to do center... What are you talking about? You're going to have two handles? Yeah, you're not going to open that big of a door with one handle in the middle. Yeah. These are going to be two handles. That's why I had to do four. One, two, three, four. What? You could easily open this with one handle. That's not how you do drawers. You put two handles on drawers. It's how they're done. You're mental. Quit arguing with me. If we didn't do it that way, somebody would tell us. You're supposed to have two handles on drawers. That's how they're all done. Oh, why didn't you just do to the outside edge? <laughs> what are you talking about now? Like just measure to the outside edge of the thingy and then you don't have to do the whole complex centered measurement. It's okay. I'll just measure it six and do it your way. <laughs> it seems easier. Maybe. Okay, so nine inches, so four and a half is centered. Looky, 
looking good. It looks even better now. Now the knobs that you put on the closets look even better now that there's more black going on in here. That is so cool. It looks so good. It really does look good. I love it. Yay. Mm. It just looks so much more like a bedroom now with the handles and knobs on it. It makes it look real. I'm super loving it. Good. Look how good it looks. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do more of the dark stuff around the edges. What are you talking about? The dark, where I, the wax, where I did the wax around the edges. I'm going to do more. I like the ones that have more. So I found some cute knobs at Hobby Lobby. Let me show you. These are the parts for my knobs. My knobs are different than Mike's and I had to spray paint mine black because the only ones I could find were brass. So here's the new black parts. Alright, let's go put these in. Okay, so these go on these. And those go in these. And then these little clear things. They're cute. They're cute. And that, please. And then we'll take my big lineman's pliers and cut off the excess. Oh, this. cool. I thought you were going to have to like saw it. Oh. Could do that too, but I think my lineman's pliers will handle this. They're super cute. I love it. Look at my closet, y'all. We have mirror image closets, his and hers. But my knobs are better. Whatever. My knobs are just girlier. You know why we have to have separate closets? Because her clothes smell like because girls. Because one of us is a slob, slob, and can't keep his clothes folded. You just called yourself a boy. Or anything. You spelled her wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you are wrong, mister. <laughs> I love the way they look. Okay, we gotta do the handles on my drawers. We're almost done. Oh no, we still got one more down here too. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got a few more things to go. There you go. And a screw. Nut. Well, we have to be with one of these for now until we okay. get another nut for it. That one came home with us from Hobby Lobby without its nut, and shame on me for not noticing it in the store. Thanks. Welcome. here grinning from ear to ear. I love this so much. <laughs> I love the little hers and his look. The solid black knobs on his side and the cute little glass fancy knobs on my side. Okay. Screws handle. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. Whoops. Whoops. Dang it. You are not good at this. <laughs> Blowing it. I have one job. Okay, we're ready to move in. I'm ready. I'm just ready to get my clothes out of the closet in the house and into this closet and fill up the drawers and see how it's all going to fit. Months. It's going to be so exciting. He's crazy. It's going to happen. It's pretty good. we got to put magnets in here though. Yep, we're not done yet. Well, maybe magnets. This is the cute part though. It looks so good. This one's still taped up because I completely forgot to do the um, antiquing furniture wax around the edges of it. 
This is the little cupboard door that gets lost and forgotten. Last screw. No, because we have to do that crap. Yeah, but they have, they come with their own with those two knobs. There it is. There's no more knobs or handles anywhere. Is that it for the whole bus? We're all knobbed and handled up? I think we are. We got that handled. Your <laughs> <laughs> dad jokes are off the hook. That's a mom <laughs> joke for me. <laughs> so awesome. This thing is obviously like like this so should we put a latch here do I just hold this on the oh up here mm -hmm. you might as well sure if that was gonna actually happen. I didn't either. Good, that'll probably retrain this cupboard back into shape over time. I think it will. So cool. Closes definitively. Yeah, I like that. Okay. We had to put the other kind of latch on this door. This one just has such a warp. Warp in it that this will probably train it back over time. But... And these are the same kind of latches that we used on all of our drawers. So we're just using one of them here. Perfect. The vampire Looks has so made good. its mark. All right, now we gotta find the right kind of screws for this, though. Though it doesn't, like, we can't close it, like, you know, like this. You have to push um, it to shut it. Yeah, but it, like, okay, it's good. solid. I and it pulls it shut. Yeah, I bet you it's gonna retrain that door. Yeah, so. It's gonna train the warp right out of it. You might. That's cool. Okay. So now we can put the magnets on this bad boy. on everything. If you guys are wondering, we already put the latches on the drawers in a prior video. They're on this side. Right there. And right there. So that's everything. That's all our magnetic latches and drawer latches and knobs and antiquing and although I still have a little bit left to do. It's awesome. In the places I forgot. The bedroom is looking pretty awesome. All right, I guess we're done with everything in the bedroom with all the knobs and latches and antiquing. For the most part, I just have a little bit to finish up, but I think it looks great. Tell us what you guys think in the comments. And thanks for watching.